Hello everyone, Chris here from Trickstar. Just wanted to go over a practical implementation of Tetra seating that we talked about last week. Uh, we'll look at a venue in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada called Gorlap Park. It's a beautiful amphitheater in the River Valley. Uh, it has a lot of fixed seating here. This is the full seating chart. There is some seating in the back on the grass here that people can bring chairs or blankets, but we'll just concentrate on the actual seating here for this example. So the initial thought would be to close every second row and close down the aisles to give the most space. Uh, this would only get us to 36% of the seats being used, or 402 seats of the 1126, and this is in groupings of two, three, and four seats. We also added some VIP seats in front in just simple rows of two and four, and that got us 92 VIP seats. So we wanted to obviously get that number up as high as we can, so this is an enhanced version of that same system of just checkerboard seating. So we added in the aisle seats as options. We upped the groups to groups of at least six tickets and just did a few other enhancements on as far as how these sections and spaces were laid out. Uh, and we got up to 490 seats, so 44%. And then just tweaked the VIP a bit into groupings of seats rather than just all straight rows in that same area. And you go from 92 to 112 seats. So that alone is a good Good increase. But to look at the Tetra seating example, we get up to 55% of the seats, so 622 seats for sale. Uh, I put that this is only about an 80% efficiency Tetra seating because we still kept in groups of two, groups of three, groups of four tickets. If you really wanted to be as efficient as possible, you'd use the bigger groups that you can. But uh, you know, in fairness and in reality, having some groups of two and three. Uh, are great. So to zoom in a little bit on just what that looks like and keeping in mind that we did throughout this whole example assume that having one seat between people which is only about two feet is sufficient uh, you know assuming everyone in the venue is going to be required to wear masks is going to get around that or you know we're hoping that that's going to be the case at least so that gets our number up to 55 percent and these tickets would be sold in in groups like this so groups of sixes twos fours rather than putting everyone in lines because when you have to close down full rows that's where it gets tricky so uh, if you want any help or, or to see how this could fit with your venue we're all ears and please reach out